now we want to define a new variable it's going to be called public no actually not public this is going to be private rotation axis not rotation sorry rotation rotation x I forgot to put the float sorry private float rotation x is equal to 0 f uh, if you're making something to do to do with floats always don't forget to put the f after each number it helps the system understand a bit more better <coughs> rotation x will um, get our input for us <coughs> now let's start defining the variables needed for our y-axis just gonna put a little comment so we need a public float sensitivity y so be equal to 400 f as well uh, public minimum minimum y oh, I forgot the floor again minimum y is equal to minus 45 I'll explain that in a bit public float maximum at, uh, y is equals to 45 now you may be thinking why is minimum y and minimum x different now on the X we want our play, player to be able to make a full 360 turn and on our Y axis we want to go probably let's put 50 actually say that we want him to be able to only go 50 up and 50 down so he should not be able to make a full 360 turn on the Y axis so still be just stupid. I mean, no one can turn their arms around a full 360 now. So yeah, that's the reason they can be 50-50. Uh, then we need to define the public rotation for this. So public. Float. No, actually let's keep it private. Float. Rotation y equals 0 f um, now we need our original rotation in our javascript this was done like this let me just open our javascript Uh, as you can see in Java it was var original rotation and we defined it type as quaternion if we want to make the same thing in C sharp it would be type first so public quaternion and we're gonna name it we're going to give the quaternion a name, uh, let's call it original rotation. Close it off. And let's start making 
our x axis rotation work so we can make a 360 turn with our player let's go to void update put an if statement if open bracket rot equals equals rotation axis dot mouse x we want our player to be able to make a 360 turn so rotation x plus equals input dot get axes then the input we need is our mouse x and we're going to times it by sensitivity x and time dot delta time mouse x is a predefined input in unity so if we go to unity's edit project input and you can see over here you've got mouse x and mouse y basically all they're doing is picking up our mouse movement on the x and the y is picking up our mouse movement on the y and then what we're saying is we're picking up the input and we want to times it by sensitivity how smoothly we want it to be able to uh, move around so if we say let's just say sensitivity x equals 1000 for the x you'll see what happens afterwards then now uh, let's define a new quaternion and we're going to call it x quaternion so quaternion x quaternion is going to be equal to quaternion dot angle axis open bracket and then our rotation x then comma factor free dot up you may be thinking uh, why is there quaternion there why isn't original rotation there well like I said in C sharp you can't do that you have to define the type first and because we define the type quaternion we have to give a new name every time but I will be using original uh, rotation for something else this time I will be showing you so you can see how both scripts work differently whereas if we used our original rotation in Java it will allow us to use it like this but C sharp won't let's go back here uh, uh, you'll see how now that where we're going to use our original rotation so I'll transform dot local rotation it's going to be equal to our original rotation and we're going to times it by our x quaternion we're going to get a warning message if we run it it says the private field fps mouse load c sharp dot rotation y is oh that's the wrong one hold on basically I don't know why I didn't get the error message normally I did 
let me just clear this uh, rotation blah, blah, blah. Like what do I mean? let me save this again okay basically we should have got a warning saying that original rotation is set as null what it's telling us is we haven't used original rotation anywhere in our script and if it's not been used we're passing a false value to this the transform local rotation and it's going to keep us still so in order to solve that we need to go to on your start function and write original rotation which we defined above is equal to our transform dot local rotation so this is now going to be equal to our local rotation so as soon as the game starts it's going to pick up our local rotation and pass it through to transform local rotation equals original rotation so where our local rotation is at the moment if we go back to unity and save it and run it before I move my mouse on the X and on the X axis I couldn't move but this time you should be able to there we go so we are now allowed to make a 360 turn So you can see some minor differences in JavaScripting and C Sharp. But please do keep in mind if you are confused on what these lines are doing, do go back and watch the Java tutorials. They do exactly the same thing. They're just written in a different way, but they do the same thing.